Hi, this is Keva Jeremiah. Hi, I'm Keva Jeremiah. I'm a guitarist and a music producer. One of India's most accomplished musicians who has taken his passion and worked hard to make it his profession. Noted for not just his accomplishments but also his heart. Keva's musical journey has taken him around the world to work with phenomenal artists and brilliant music composers. A desire for every musician is to work with big composers and uh, along the journey I got to work with some of the biggest names in the industry Mr. Yarama and um, initially working with him was just like it's like wow I mean there's so much to learn from him he's always in the search for something better for something new for something somebody hasn't done or for something that is just totally out of the box and he also inspires me to do that you know when i see somebody like him who's achieved everything who's had the grammys the oscar i think this whole journey is is about taking baby steps and uh, you you should never come to the point where you feel like i've achieved it if you feel like you've achieved it it's that that moment that growth actually stops you know and uh, which is why i feel like uh, uh, i'm grateful for every achievement that i've had but i i don't feel like i've arrived and i don't think i'll ever arrive and uh, i'm grateful for that because uh, that means i'm still learning so when i initially started this journey um i started learning music when i was 7 and um i wanted to i wanted to pursue a career in music but what happened is um, as i was finishing my 12th i i really wanted to go to berkeley and berkeley was one of the big names so i i don't have parents you know um dad and mom i want to study music and they said no you can't you know you have to do what everybody else does which is either become an engineer or a doctor and they were so particular that i had to finish engineering and uh, my dad just had this one rule you know finish engineering and then do whatever you want to do i don't know if i took it up as a challenge back then when i started but uh, i could say like towards the third year of my engineering i did take it up as a challenge because i was actually struggling to finish my engineering so when i when i came in 2004 in city chennai um my brother was already serving at uh, NLAG it's a, it's a local church where we go here and uh, one of the first things that i got to do was play at that church and um, right when i came i initially had this feeling like i know what music is i feel like uh, i've learned everything and it was only when i came to that uh, church and started interacting with the musicians that i realized wow there's so much more to music it's a whole it's a whole new sea that i haven't explored it was a bit of struggle to in fact get access to music or learning material you know back then there were cd's and video tapes and we used to borrow we used to copy stuff and when everybody talks to me nowadays they're like i want to do what you do and the funny thing is they do have the tools right in front of them the internet is there with everything to but they don't want to go through the journey that actually takes them So initially the journey for me was a lot of struggle. It was actually hard to find people who would actually teach you. And one of the things that I did a lot was play with the metronome, which a lot of musicians don't do these days. But I just sit at the metronome, just put the click in my ears and just keep playing, keep practicing. So much so that nowadays when I record, people say keep your picking to sound like a machine. It's almost like, you know, we need a little bit of that human element in your playing. So You know, so those are things that I've been constantly working on. So one of the things was always uh, trying to be on time for any work I do. And the second thing was always trying to complete a job. You know, and um, even if it meant it was really hard and I really didn't, um, I couldn't um, like work on it right away. Take some time off. You know, learn what needed to be done to finish the job and get that done. And um, what I realized along the way was as I was doing this. I really didn't have to like really promote myself or put a demo CD out there. I've never made a demo CD in my whole life. So I realized that people see the consistency in your work and that's how calls started coming in, you know. People kept referring me from one person to the other and that's how work started flowing in. It was pretty busy since then. Keba didn't stop at making his own mark in the music industry. but is also a pioneer by paving the way for numerous musicians who followed closely in his footsteps a lot of people were afraid of just being musicians you know like being a musician wasn't recognized by society and by 
but I should say my parents actually they didn't think that being a musician was even in fact a job or a career option. So uh, I decided that there were some things that needed to be fixed uh, in the system so that you know, um, like a musician could be taken seriously. So I I really wanted to take it upon myself uh, and show people that actually I can do something and uh, make something out of music. And um, I worked really hard at it. I really worked hard at it. I, I set practice times. I had principles. It initially started with even just payments and um, making sure I set right payments, you know, and not not not, not neg negotiating on those terms. And there's a certain value to the, setting certain values to the work that you do. I, I mean, every job has a certain value. So. Um, Everybody thinks music is free, but no, there's a lot of work, there's a lot of time, there's a lot of effort that goes into the whole process. So, I mean, there are there are instances where you can do music for free, but then there's there's a certain value to the work that you do. So even just setting those standards a little higher and raising the bar a little bit, I think we uh, over the years there is a space that has been set for musicians and for future generations um, to take take up this path where they can actually pursue music as a career. Nowadays, I have a lot of uh, you know, kids' parents who come up to me and they're like, my son looks at you and he wants to be a musician. So how? So what is the advice you would give him? And um, a lot of young people don't want to hear about the journey, but it is the journey that gets you to where you are. So I keep uh, talking to them about uh, practice times, about principles, about consistency, about dedication, about hard work. And these are the things that people don't want to hear, but these are the things that actually you have to consider when you want to be a musician. For me, the mission is to, to leave a legacy where it's not about just um, getting, but also it's about giving, you know? And I think with music, there's so much you can leave behind. Um, it's not about just leaving music behind, but leaving values and leaving good principles and uh, good ethics. And um, I think uh, that's the mission for me also. To, I think to impact a younger generation where they set good standards and good values for themselves. And sometimes um, what happens is everybody sees the, the results, the end results, which is uh, the fame, the money, and honestly, none of that. After you see all of it and everybody feels like you've achieved it, but you really haven't, you know, and um, it's a journey, you know, you're still on that journey. Uh, I don't think all of that matters. I just want to share a small experience. So I still remember playing in church one afternoon and uh, one one morning on Sunday and I'm just playing in church. And the thought running through my head is, okay, so I'm playing all of this. And I, I just usually like do a gentle scan of the crowd. And then I'll be like, so is this making any difference to me? Is this making any difference to God? You know, those are the kind of questions I'm asking. And I finished service. It's a regular service, regular Sunday service. And a lady who I've never met before in my life just walks up to me and she says, today when you played, uh, there was a certain sense of joy that I felt. I felt I felt like something was lifted off of me. And that one experience changed just, just the whole uh, reason why I did music, you know. And uh, I realized that music can be very, it can bring a lot of healing, it can bring a lot of joy into people's lives. It brings people together. I really don't know what I would have done uh, if it were not for music. I mean, I was so close. It's so funny because I finished my engineering. I sat for placements. I got a job. And then I didn't, I never attended the interview. And I was, there was this certain sense of confidence that I had because I knew uh, the joy and the purpose and uh, how much music meant to me. And it's something that I loved doing ever since I was a kid. And I really wanted to pursue it. And I somehow knew that if I was committed to the process and I was going to work hard, I really could make it. So I'm, I'm really, really glad that I took this decision to be a musician.